Hello, it is Vlogtober 12th. The title of today's vlog is Pleasing Your Partner. Last night I talked about making your partner happy. I asked the question, is it your job to make your partner happy? And I think the obvious answer is no. It is not anyone's responsibility to try to make somebody else happy. Happy is a condition within each person joy, contentment, whatever words you want to use. But pleasing your partner, when I say pleasing your partner, I'm talking about moments, individual things that you can do, actions you can take to make your spouse's life a little better, a little more pleasant. And who doesn't want to be pleased and who doesn't want to please somebody else? So let's back up a little bit. When you were a baby, your parents pleased you. And if you were happy, great. They weren't out to make you happy, but they were out to take care of your needs and do things to please you, to keep you content. So then we live a life of being single, and many of us please ourselves. When you get married and you're living with another person, you have now taken one individual who is used to a certain way of being, temperaments, pleasing him or herself, another individual who's used to pleasing him or herself, and then you have the, the marital unit. So there's three entities within your marriage. And so it can be a little bit difficult pleasing somebody else. We, we have to make way for a whole new dynamics. And a lot of people will say, oh, marriage is a 50-50 proposition. Well, I believe it is a 100-100% proposition, if not more. If you are out to please your spouse and your spouse is out to please you, can you see how that would make for a lot of contentment? Instead of us trying to you know, satisfy ourselves and please ourselves and try to get our partner to please us, and if we, if we dropped that and instead we considered our spouse and how can I please this person, and if they made it their main mission of pleasing you, uh, it, that's kind of an interesting way to look at it. About seven years ago, I did a program called Blog Talk Radio. It was called Your Marriage Matters. I had a lot of fun with it. I did a weekly program for an entire year, and I asked my husband, hey, Bob, do you wanna come on the show and be a co-host with me? I think it would make for a great show. And he goes, I don't have anything to say. All I have to say is, guys, please your wife. Make your wife happy. But when he said make your wife happy, he didn't mean, you are responsible for her emotional state. It's that do what you can to please your wife, to do the little things that might go a long way towards a, a happy disposition. So I hope you can kind of understand that distinction. Pleasing your spouse could be a mission for you and a mission that would pay off tremendously. Um, what else did I want to say about pleasing? Uh, what are some examples of pleasing your spouse? Pleasing your spouse works well when you do something you don't really want to do, but that your partner will really appreciate. Some little chore that he or she usually does, and you take care of it just because, just because you love your spouse. Let's say the wife usually shops, makes dinner, and cleans up. Okay, well, maybe she's just tired of it, but she's not really complaining. And the husband has, a, you know, he himself has had a long, long day, but he jumps right in and he decides to say, hey, take a break. I'm going to take care of this. Oh, how nice. And it really adds um, to the love and affection and to the happiness within the relationship. Another thing to do, uh, this might not necessarily please your spouse, but let's just say something I'm thinking of. Say my husband takes his shoes off, he leaves them in the middle of the floor at the end of the bed, and I'm just tired of looking at them. I don't want to nag. I don't want to remind, remind, remind. So what I do is I simply pick them up and put them in the closet out of the way. So did this please my spouse? Eh, probably not. Probably didn't even notice it. Did it please me? Yes. Did it overall contribute to the bottom line of having a trip-free floor? Yes. So I consider little acts like that in the, in the arena of pleasing. You've silently taken care of something that maybe you would think your partner should take care of. So pleasing your partner goes a long way 
towards a happy, healthy marriage. So what can you do today to please your spouse? See you tomorrow.